come with me, my daughters and sons. Your spiritual journey has just begun. Chant the holy names of the Lord. And all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be yours. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. coming our way and we know that your love is here to stay Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Maui Isle, with your big blue eyes and your soothing smile, we wish you would come here to stay, but we know that you must be on your way, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Chant the holy names of the 
Lord And all desirable things will be And all desirable things will be And all desirable things will be अति मात्र चरित्राय स्वासीतानंचपालिने जीव दुखे सदा काय नाम प्रेम प्रदाय बंचा कल्पतरु भैष्य कृपासिन धुर्यिवच पतितानं पामनेत्यो भैष्णवेत्य नमो महावदन्याय कृष्णा प्रेमा प्रदायते कृष्णा य कृष्ण चैतन्या नामने गोरदेशी गुरवे गोरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदादि कृष्णा य कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय तवाई वाष्मी तवाई वाष्मी नजीवा मित्रया दिना इति बेक्या राधे तांगने माम चरना माय कोटी कोटी डंडोत प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पेशल मास्टर ओम बिष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर शास्त्री मात भक्ति और ज्ञान की सुविधा and same koti koti dandar pranam in the lotus feet of my shiksha guru nitta lila pravishta hum vishnu bhav shishmat bhakti vedan sirani maharaj yesterday in my class i told you that remaining burden of earth Krishna wanted to remove before his departure from this world. So, he inspired Brahmins and Rishi and they gave cause that very soon they will be finished. When all were finished, Then Baldev Prabhu took Samadhi and he left this world and entered in Aprakit Golok Vrindavan. Krishna was as if nothing happened and he was sitting in a people tree. Thinking something, in the meantime, Uddhav came, weeping, and he told Krishna, Now I have known that you are going to your Swadham, Golok Vrindavan. So please take me with you. Without you, I cannot remain here. So please take me. Then Krishna told, you will have to be in this world. I will tell you, the essence of all the literatures, how a person can attain Supreme Lord, very easy. 
So, you should stay here. And I am teaching you all these things. And after this, you should go to Badrikashram. Their Maitreya Rishi. In the way you will meet Vidu, you tell you should tell him all these teachings. And then you should go to Maitreya and tell him, and he will reveal all these things to whole world. And I know that if you are here, no separation with me. Anyhow, you will be in Vandavan on Kusum Sarovar as a blade of cross is there. Asam ho charna, reni jusam aham shyam. He has prayed that I should be in Vandavan as a blade of cross. Gopil come to Avisar Krishna, their feet dust will be there and my life will be successful. So you should be there. After some time, Bajranav and Parikshit Maharaj will come to you. And then you should tell them all these things. So Krishna began to tell all these things. Up till now, what I told, it was preface. That in what circumstances Uthav came and Krishna told him all the teachings. So now, first of all, we will discuss about Nemi Maharaj and Nau Yogendra. Once Vasudeva was with Krishna and whole dynasty. <coughs> At that time Narada came and he washed his feet, took his feet water and gave it to whole family. And then he asked, in my previous part, I have done Aradhana that Supreme Lord should come as my son. But I have not done anything to be liberated from this world. So please tell me the easiest process. method, process, that even a lame man who has heard nothing about this, he has no idea of what is Krishna consciousness, so easily they can follow and have the Krishna praying. So, it has told in Srimad Bhagavatam, Govinda Bhuja Guptayam, Dharavatta Puna Puna, Kuradva, Avisit Narada, Avikno, Krishna Darshana Lalasa. You know that Narada Rishi is highest class of Rasik devotee. In the first creation, Daksha Prajapati sent his so many thousands of sons to be educated in the school of Narad. <coughs> Narad very soon trained them and they become sannyasi, renowns. And they went to forest to do Aradhana of Krishna. <coughs> when Daksha came, where are my sons? Still now, 
their study is not completed, where they are? Oh, they went to their house. Oh, from school they have given them. What holy day? <laughs> and then he knew that, oh, Nartha had trained them. They have become highest class of devotee. And they will never return to this world. What world is? Narad knows. Narad knows. Only fire and fire. In this world, anyone cannot be satisfied by worldly desire and sense gratifications. So, <coughs> Daksha went to his return back and then Again, so many sons, he sent to Narod and told him, Oh, don't teach them all these things. You can teach them how to make praja, how to uh, uh, children and daughters and sons and daughters. So only teach them this. Oh, I will train. <laughs> and then he trained, and they become also pure devotees. <laughs> and they went to forest. Again he became angry, Daksha. Oh. Again I warned you not to teach them this Harikatha, but you have trained. Now I am giving you course that you cannot stay anywhere to teach anyone. Hmm? As soon as a cow is milked, oh, five minutes, you can stay there only. Not more than that. Thus you will. Not at all. Oh, very good. Now I will teach all others. <laughs> At first I was engaged in the service of only the sons of Daksha. Now in the whole world I will tour and will teach my bhakti to all. So, Govinda Bhuja Gupta Yang Dara Vatya Puna Kurudvaha. So, the Daksha Sa, that is cause of Daksha. <laughs> could not enter in Dwarka because it was rakshit by Protected by Krishna's Krishna. Arms. So when Narad Rishi used to come to be with Krishna, there he spent, used to spend so many days and months and again Krishna used to send him, again he used to come. So, <coughs> when Vasudeva uh, Maharaj told, I have done Aradhana of Supreme Lord, he should mention, I have not done anything for my liberation. Please tell me. Hearing this, Narada became very, very happy and told, You have remembered me the sweet past times and Aprakrit Guna Samuha qualities of Krishna. If anyone will hear, even one time, he will come in the ear of persons, they will be liberated, Krishna Prem will come. So, you have reminded me, now I am telling that in very ancient time, ancient time there was a king, name was Nemi Maharaj of Janakpuri. Very learned 
and he was pure devotee. And in their kingdom, <coughs> the son of Harishab Dev, now Jogendra came. He was doing five sacrifices, thousands of Rithiks and others were uh, there. When now Jagendra nine came, all stood up. You know Rishabh Dev. He has hundred sons. The eldest was Bharat Maharaj, Bharat Maharaj and he was the king of Ajanab Barsha, and by his name. It became Bharat Varsha. He was a great devotee. He left this world as a stool and he was doing bhajan in the forest. And he reached up to Rati Avastha, Bhav, Suddhasattva. And then, anyhow, he was a tangled with a baby deer. And he used to lump what he has left before. No? He has left his sons, daughters, wife, wealth, big kingdom, everything. But now, he was so much attached. So three births he lost. At the time of death, <coughs> what he was doing? Thinking about that. Remembering. Oh, my dear son, a very auspicious, where you used to travel, your feet dust, it was the place of fire sacrifices. <laughs> and in the meantime, death come. And he remembered. So if anyone will attach to a beautiful lady, what will be result? If to dear attached and he lost and he was up to bhava varsta and then we of no place or thousands and hundreds of lives we will lose. Be careful. And then he became, reminding him, became what? Dear. So we, we will attach too much to our family, ladies, wife, son. And at the death of that time, they must come in or remember. And we will be, oh, lady. Ladies will be male. So be careful. Now Jogendra, after three lives, he again received the same stay and he attended Krishna Prem and liberated. Now Jogendra, they were from beginning, like Sanak Sanandan Sanatan Sanat Kumar. Paramahansa, no jati, no caste, nothing. They used to go everywhere where they like, in Swarga, heaven, up to Brahmano, yet everywhere in the So when he came, they came. All stood up. And Nemi Maharaj told, the fruit of all the Jagya has come here. Now he stop the Jagya. No need of her doing any sacrifice. And then he asked the same question. Same question. So, now we will begin 11 canto.
when Narada came to Vasudev Maharaj, Vasudev told Bhagavan Bhauto Jatra Shastai Sarvadehi Nam Kipananang Jathapitra Uttam Shloka Vartana. Oh, Nardrishi, you are traveling to this world is for the benefit of the whole world. You are so merciful. More than father and mother. Bhutanam Devacharitam. If you will worship gods, demigods, if you want poison, they will give poison. Even Shankar. He gave a bone to Bhashmasu, to whom you will keep your hands finished. So Indra, Varun, Jam, all, they will give what you benediction want. They will never think that whether it is poison or it is nectar. Mm. Then, <coughs> so when, when Nami Maharaj, uh, when fire sacrifice was stopped, then Videhu Bacha, Nami Maharaj, Manne Bhagavata Sakshat Parshudo Vod, Madhudisha, Vishnu Bhutani Lokani Pavana Charantihi. Oh, I think, Manne, I think that you are Pasad of Madhudvesha, Krishna, Supreme Lord. They always travel in the whole world out of mercy to teach them Bhagavad Dharma. Like at the time of Ajamil, Vishnu death came, they were going to travel in the world and they saw and told him so many things. And then he went to Haridwar and began to chant pure name of Narayan and thus he achieved the prem and he go to to Vaikuntala. So Durlabho Manuso Deho Deha Tehinang Chanabhangura Tatrapi Durlabham Manne Bhaikuntha Priya Darshanam. Can you? You have nuts? You can take the book and... I told you to be prepared. Huh? I don't know which slope is... Oh, you can see this slope. You have noted from tomorrow. You should note down all these things. Ekadesh Askan, second chapter, 29th is low. Durlava Manusho Deho Dehinam Kshana Bhangura Tatrapi Durlabham Manye Vaikunta Priya Darshanam. For the conditioned souls, the human body is most difficult to achieve, and it can be lost at any moment. But I think that even those who have achieved human life, they rarely gain the association of pure devotees who are dear to the Lord of Vaikunta. Explain something. <clears throat> Om Jnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha So here, which Navi Yogendra is speaking? Or this is? 
this is still Nemi Maharaj. Nemi Maharaj was, as Srila Gurudev has described, he is now being visited by these, by these Nava Yogendras, by these nine very powerful uh, rishis, saints, who are pure devotees. So he's making the statement to them, as Srila Gurudev said, that he was performing this great sacrifice, and now that they have appeared, now he declared, oh, the, re the purpose of our sacrifice is now fulfilled, because these personalities have come. So he's explaining that this human birth, the opportunity for the jiva soul in this material world to get the human body is extremely rare. Why? Because in this material world, there are 8,400,000 different species of life that the jiva soul, the jivatma, has to travel through in order to come up gradually, gradually to the human platform. He has to travel through so many uh, species of aquatic species in the ocean. He has to travel through so many species of reptiles on the land, so many insects. He has to come up through the bird species. He has to come up through the animal species. And finally, he comes to the human species. Even within human form, there are so many different types of human species, and half of them out of 400,000 human species, 200,000, half of them, they're uncivilized. What is uncivilized? It means that they have no Vedic culture, no connection with the absolute truth. And so he has to travel through millions, literally millions of lifetimes in order to attain one human birth. So, Maharaj Nimi is declaring his own good fortune that this human form of life is so rarely attained, now I have attained that human form of life. But within the human form of life, even more rare to attain is to actually meet face to face with a pure unalloyed devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is so uh, inconceivably rare. There is an example that we have heard from our Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada that he explained there is a turtle, a tortoise, just like the turtles, very big large turtles, they go down into the ocean and they dive quite deep uh, and they hold their breath. So after some time again they come back up to the surface. So when they come up to the surface, they get some more air, oxygen, and then after some time again, they go back down. So this tur there is one turtle, one tortoise, who is uh, underneath the surface of the ocean. And on top of the surface of the ocean, there is a log, a piece of wood. It is floating along, and inside of the log, the piece of wood, there is a hole. So... This uh, tortoise is swimming upward, gradually coming up to the top of the surface of the water, and this log with the, uh, with the hole in it is also floating along. And for this tortoise to come up and, and, and meet at the very point where this log of wood floats across, and to put his mouth up through this hole, this is the rarity of coming into the human form of life and meeting a pure devotee of the Lord. So you can figure it out mathematically. So the point is that... Huh? Oh, yes, he reminded that the tortoise, it comes up once only every 100 years. Yes. So like this, actually, we are unaware of this fact. We are coming... We are traveling in this material world for millions of lifetimes and we are unaware of this fact. Spiritual life begins. Even if he had no connection with the pure devotion previously, 
But when he meets the pure devotee face to face, now the seed of devotion is planted in his heart. There are so many examples in Shastra. We have also heard the example of Sri Narada Muni meeting the hunter, Mirgari. Very, very low-grade persons. His whole life was completely transformed and changed. So therefore, Maharaj Nimi is making this statement that even if one has the chance to get half of a moment of association in proper consciousness with such a pure Vaishnav personality, then he has, a, he has the opportunity to attain the ultimate benefit, the Atyantikam Kshemam. What is Atyantikam Kshemam? So, so the ultimate benefit that a person can attain in this human form of life is a uh, prema pumarto mahan. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has brought to this world this greatest gift of Krishna Prem, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, before he came to this world, there was also the opportunity to attain Prem, to attain love for God, to attain Vaikuntha Prem, but Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the present time is the ultimate opportunity, the ultimate of the ultimate good for the human being. That one can attain uh, Vraja Prem and within the context of Vraja Prem one can attain the eternal uh, association and service of the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So the human being is not meant only for Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. These four goals of human life are insignificant in comparison with the ultimate attainment of Prem. So the pure devotees of the Lord, they inform the human society about this ultimate good, ultimate attainment for them, and they set them on this path of pure devotion to the Supreme Lord so that one day they may attain this Krishna Prem. Also, more than that, Akshim, Gopi Prem, <laughs> Braj Prem, yes. and then Radha, Radha Dasya. This is authentic yes. of supreme yes. kalyan. Auspicious. Oh. Okay. After that, you, you. Hearing this question, Kavi began to answer and he told that himself Krishna, Supreme Lord, has so many process of attaining him, easiest thing. If you will run, closing your eyes, means what is the meaning? If you will neglect something, Bhiti Marga, no harm. By that, you will attend Bridge Prime, Krishna Prime. <coughs> and then he began to tell Kayena Basa, Bacha, Manasain Driyai Vuva, Buddhyatmana, Vanusit Sabhavat. Karoti Jachat Sakalam Parashmai Narayani Tisar. It is not Prahlad Maharaj Pakka. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, <clears throat> In accordance with the particular nature one has acquired in conditioned life, whatever one does with body, words, mind, senses, intelligence, or purified consciousness, one should offer to the Supreme, thinking this is for the pleasure of Lord Narayan. Next verse. Meaning? Gurave Gora Chandai Radhikaya Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavaktaya Namona means this this body that we have received is due to our past activities. Therefore, with whatever we have, our Parabdha Karma, with which our present body is now made of, in whatever condition one find oneself, one should engage one's body, mind, words, intelligence and consciousness 
as an offering to the Supreme Lord. For example, this Bhagavad Dharma is so broad, one should not think, oh, this is only for human beings. Because we see even those in the lowest species of life who have achieved a body as a result of their past karma, they can also engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. <coughs> like Gajendra, Indrajuna Maharaj, because of his karma, his past activities, he was cursed by Angir Rishi to take the form of an elephant. Despite being an elephant, he could still engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Or what to speak of devotees like Garuda, even uh, despite assuming, of course it's an eternal parika form, but even assuming the form of bird, he could still engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Therefore this Bhagavad Bhakti, this chanting of the holy name can be performed in any condition. Atako Bhakti Vinod, he prayed, Kita Jan Mahao Jata Tura Das Bahir Mukha Brahma Nahimora As. He said, even as a result of my past activities, I have to take birth as a worm. Still, I want to take birth as a worm in the house of a devotee, so I can get the chance for a Sangha or Vaishnav. I don't want to be born even as Lord Brahma if I am born against you, without the chance of Satsangha. Therefore, this Bhagavad, like Guru Maharaj was saying, even if one runs with eyes closed, there can be no fear of fall down. Even if there is some mistake in a, in a devotee's performance of Shravan Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, there's no doubt he will achieve the supreme destination. As a result of his past activities, isn't it? Valmiki took birth as the Dakoid Ratnaka, but he chanted the holy name backwards. Still he achieved perfection. Ultanama Japati Jagajani Balmiki Bayo Brahmana Samani. Therefore there is no question of anyone falling on this path of bhakti. Even though Bharat Maharaj, he was degraded by his activities to take birth as a, as a deer, still he could achieve the topmost destination. Even though Chit, Maharaj Chitraketu, as a result of his activities, he had to take birth as the Asura Britas as the Asura Britasur, still he achieved complete perfection. Therefore one should not think, oh, this present body is unfavorable for bhajan, oh, I was born in the West, oh, I have so many bad samskar. This Navagendra Sambhad says, whatever you have in whatever condition, whatever time, place, circumstance, this bhakti has no obstacle. One can engage whatever one has, in whatever condition, in the service of the Lord and achieve complete perfection. When did the other beliefs? This was Puja Pachivigamaj's favorite verse. Boyam Dvitiya Bhavanesa Tasyadi Sadvi Pasya Vipari Yosmiti Tadmaya Taya Abhajet Buddhatvam Bhaktiyaki Sham Guru Devatmanaha. Guru Devatmanaha. Atma. So this was the question. Nimi Maharaj asked, how can even a foolish person who has no knowledge, how they can cross this ocean of birth and death? So, Boyam Dvitiya Abhavanesa Tashyat. So, Vipariya Smiti. The living entity, because he has minute independence, and because of minute independence, he's come to this world, he has developed Vipariya Smiti, means a feeling of enviousness towards Krishna. Oh, why he should be the center of everything? Why he should be Bhakta? Why he should be the enjoyer? I should be the enjoyer. I should be the center. Therefore, because of Vipariya Smiti, because of enviousness of enviousness of Krishna, he falls to this world and immediately he experiences boyam dvitiya abhavanesa tashat. Immediately he experiences fear because he associates with, he is claiming something as his own. Puja Pachavika Maharaj gave an example. For example, a brahmachari, he's alone doing bhajan and he's very happy. But as soon as he marries, immediately comes fear because he thinks she is mine then comes fear, what, what happens if someone else takes her? What happens if she becomes sick? Then the baby comes, then more fear comes. Oh, I have to supply for the baby. I have to do this, I have to do that. Because as soon as one thinks this is mine, immediately comes a situation of fear. For example, if we're walking down the road, we have no money, nischin, no problem. But if we have $10,000 in our pocket then, thinking, oh, everyone will rob me. Therefore, boyam dwitiya. That feeling of duitya or dual mentality is the cause of fear. Therefore, this is called bhaktik. This is called abhujat buddhatvam. This is called maya, or that which is not. Which is not, isn't it? You are not the enjoyer, and nothing is yours. That is called maya. So maya produces that feeling of aham mamata mameti. 
I am this body and this is mine. Therefore, what to do? Because we are all in this present situation. Therefore, there is only one medicine that even a most foolish person can adopt. Bhakti Eki Sham Guru Devatmana. Guru Devatma. Bhakti Eki Sham. Ek Sham. That means. Guru Devi is Paramaradha. Guru Devi is our most worshipful. And one should pre perform one pointed devotion to him. That means Guru. Now at the present we're thinking, well, my Atma belongs to me. I am this Atma. I am independent. So one should, like one has the same. Now we are thinking, this Atma is, I belong to myself. This Atma is mine. Here Atma means Priya. Uh, so Guru Dev is a, my Priyatam. Knowing this, you should serve Guru Dev. Don't disobey him. Otherwise, fall down. So, you should know that Guru Dev is our most Priyatam Bandhu. Dear friend, worship him. And we should obey and serve him. And by that, we should serve always Radha Krishna Kanjuga. This is easiest method. If Bhayan Ditya, if you will forget Krishna, then you will have to be what? Too much Ashakti in this world. Oh, I am this world. Oh, old age will come and then I will die. I think that I will die. So, bhayam. Oh, at the time of death we cannot take anything. And so many diseases, so many problems in this world. So, bhaya. That is why you should know Gurudev, you are Paramabandhu more than father, mother, and relative, and wife. And obey him, and worship him, and then do bhajan to Radha Krishna. Shrivan Subhadrani Rathanga Pani Janmani Karmani Chijani Loke Gitani Namani Tadathakani Gayan Bilajyo Vichare Tasanga Sajjan Maharaj Kain Then you you pray and pray again. Om Akyana Tivarandhasya Gyana Dhanaslakya Chakshura Nuritam Dena Tasmay Sri Gurave Nama. Canto 11, text 39. Srinvansu Badhani Ratangapanir, Janmani Karamani Chayani Loke, Gitani Namani Tadatakani Gayan Vilajo Vicharata Sangha. An intelligent person who has controlled his mind and conquered fear should give up all attachment to material objects such as wife, family, and nation, and should wander freely without any embarrassment, hearing, chanting the holy names of the Lord, the bearer of the chariot wheel. The holy names of Krishna are all auspicious because they describe his transcendental birth and activities which he performs within this world for the salvation of the conditioned souls. Thus the holy names of the Lord are sung throughout the world. So, in this verse, it's explained that the, having taken shelter of the lotus feet of Sadguru, as described earlier, one should, without any attachment, wander throughout this world. And this doing is the symptom of Mahabhagavat. So, a bhakta, a Mahabhagavat, oh, does like this. 
So here, the symptoms of the <coughs> Mahabhagwat in the stage of Prem have been described. What is he doing? Wandering here and there without any attachment. And Vilajja means without any shame. He's not embarrassed or afraid to sing and dance. Why? Because he cannot see the people and society of this world. He's completely absorbed in his eternal identity and eternal relationship with Krishna. And what does he do? Srinvansu Bhadrani Ratangaparnya. He's hearing the beautiful auspicious pastimes of Sri Krishna. Jan Janmani Karmani about Krishna's birth and Krishna's activities. And Chayani Loke. Srila Vishnu Thakur said Chayani Loke means he's describing even in the languages of this world, in his local language, he may describe in English, French, Russian, Italian, <laughs> whatever. He can uh, speak the pastimes of the Lord. Who is the Lord? Ratangapane. Ratangapane means hmm, he whose hand has the mark of a chariot wheel. Hmm? On Krishna's hand, he has so many symbols. The mark of a chariot wheel. So it's described when hmm, Akrura came to Vrindavan. Then Krishna reached forward and went to touch him with his hand. And Akura looked and saw the chariot wheel upon his hand or the chakra on his hand. It's a sign that, oh my dear devotee, don't be afraid. I will protect you from all things. Gitani Namani Tadatakani. He should sing the names of Sri Krishna. Like Govinda Dhamo Dharamadaveti. Govinda Dhamo Tadartakani and here Tadartakani means he should explain the meanings. What is the meaning of Govinda? Govinda who plays with Go the cows, who plays with Go the gop, gopes, who plays with Go means gopis, especially Shimati Radhika. So he'll explain the meaning of all of these things and in this way or distribute auspiciousness throughout the world. I taught at the beginning I taught. At the beginning I taught. No, no, in the last, Bichare Dasanga. Ga Gayan means he will sing Vilajo without any embarrassment. And Vicharet, he will wander here and there, Asangaha, without becoming attached to any temporary material. Without things. any attachment. No attachment. Only attachment to Guru and Krishna. So in this way, Mahabhagavat travels in the whole world. To purify whole world. Evang Prata Sapriya Nama Kritya Jata Nurago de Chichit Uchai Hasatato Roda Tiroti Gaya Unamad that net that he look of Ahia. So Evang Prata Prata means Jan Mashmi Prata. And other breath. So our breath should be, or to chant and to sing the glories of Krishna. Radhe 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 Priya Nam 
Rama Krishna. The names which are very favorable for you, you should chant. Like gopis used to do in their household activities also. If they were what churning, Govinda sleep her children, oh, don't weep, you should sleep, then not telling like that. No shame, oh, hands up like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And singing. Weeping, Jaton Uraga. At once, Krishna Prem comes. He cannot check. Dutta Chitta Uchai. Loudly, 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 he begins to chant. Go win the Dhamma Dharma Dharma Go win the Dhamma Dharma Dharma Go win the Dhamma that Krishna is playing with all the boys, Madhumangal and all. Madhumangal told, if you will give your float, your dress, your peacock feather, no one will give anything to you. All laddu and everything they will give to me. Krishna told, oh, oh, you should take. And he gave his pick up feather, pitambar, everything. And in the meantime, Keshi came. <laughs> and he, with his behind legs, oh, he did like so. And then Madhumangal, <laughs> then all began to laugh. Remembering this, and he began to laugh louder. Anyone know the person, general person, they don't know the, why he is laughing. They think that he is mad person. But really what? Always remembering the sweet past times. Hasat. Oh, very loudly he begins to laugh. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, like. ho. <laughs> Around, sometimes he saw that Krishna disappeared. Then he began to weep louder. Why he is weeping? No one knows. Hmm? Gayat Unmadar, like mad person. And he, sometimes Nityati, to please Krishna, she danced. Hmm? Oh. No shame at all, nothing everywhere. So these are the symptoms of a Mahabhagava. We should try to follow. Don't be attached in anything, worldly things. It is very, very durlab janma. Rare. Even demigods want to be human. Don't stand. Then he began to tell, Bhakti Pareshanu Bhavo Virakti Ranetra. Can you try? Eka Kala Bhajamanashana Tashanta Shush Tushti Pushti Shud Apayon Ogasham. He's comparing 
the progress of devotion to the process of eating. That within it, within every biteful, one experiences three things. Tushti pushti shudai perno. That one gets pleasure from the taste of the food that he's taking. He also gets nourishment with every biteful. And gradually with every biteful, his hunger gradually diminishes. So similarly, Bhakti Prashana Bhava Bharaktir, he gets devotional uh, ecstasies come. Uh, the Seva Vritti manifests in his heart. He wants to perform more and more devotional service. And also, he gets nourishment to his bhakti in the form of realizations. Direct experience in this process of devotional service comes. It's not this process of bhakti at this stage, it's not a dry process. There's direct experience. This is the progress af after performing devotional service. And finally, virakti, or detachment from material activities, will gradually manifest as one gradually becomes, uh, with every biteful, his hunger diminishes. So in this verse, he's explaining it. So similarly, we can use this in our daily activities of devotion to understand how am I progressing. This is the barometer of our seva. If we're still having new, new, new material desires, hankerings for material activities, then there must be some uh, uh, lack, some loophole in our devotional service. So we should uh, be attentive to these things. After that slope, you. You. It tachutangrim bhajato kutanya anubhitya. Ityachu Changrim Bajatu Anuvritya Bhaktir Viraktir Bhagavat Prabodha Bhavantive Bhagavatasya Rajangs Tata Param Shantim Upeti Sakshat. My dear King, the devotee worships the lotus feet as an infallible personality of Godhead, with constant endeavor, thus achieves unflinching devotion, detachment, and experienced knowledge of the personality of Godhead. In this way the successful devotee of the Lord achieve supreme spiritual peace. So, this verse is very parallel to the previous verse where it says that just like when we eat, we get pleasure, nourishment, <coughs> and relief from anger. Here, by worshipping Krishna, one achieves unflinching devotion, detachment, and experienced knowledge of the Lord. In other words, by one's practice, of devotional service, one progressively goes through the stages of uh, the development between Shraddha and Prem, and gradually one becomes free from all anxieties, knowing, as we were hearing before from the previous verse, by Anvitya Bhinavishatasya, that fear is coming from misidentification with the body, and therefore uh, possessiveness towards bodily relationship, and fear to lose those. So. When one becomes free from that, one develops spiritual peace. In other words, he is not able, any, he is not anymore affected by anything pertaining to the body, to the mind, and so-called possessiveness in this world. And then he is able to achieve that uh, establishment in peace. He is completely engaged in Krishna's service, and he can directly experience Krishna, knowledge of Krishna. In the Bhagavatam, it is. In the second chapter, also we hear that one comes to the stage of uh, realized knowledge of Krishna. He gets direct experience in this way. Thank you. Here, anubhitya means with all time, all time. One one moment, what doing? By all senses, by mind remembering the sweet pastimes of Krishna, by ear hearing the sweet pastimes of Krishna, by mouth of singing the glories of Krishna and his name and other things, with hands serving, with feet 
ट्रेवलिंग इन दी होली प्लेसेस ऑफ वृंदावन नवद्वीप धाम एंड नीलाशल धाम सो बाय बाय ऑल ऑर्गेन्स यू सुड यूटिलाइज होल अवर सेंसेस ऑल दी टाइम दैट माया कैनॉट इंटर इन अवर हार्ट एंड दस इफ यू विल डू देन ही इज भागवत एंड देन दैट पर्सन विल हैव अचीव एटर्नल पीस एंड ऑल्सो कृष्ण प्रेम then hearing this the king again asked at bhagavatam bruta jad dharmo jad disham nida oh i want to know the symptom of bhakta bhagavat how they talk how they behave behave what they tell i want to know what is their nature and with what symptoms he can be most dear to krishna i want to know and then he began to tell sar bhute suja pashe you भागवत He will see to whom he possesses the Bhagavad Bhava Matma, no? and which mood he has in his heart. He thinks all are serving my worshipability, my God, in same mood. If someone in mood of opulence, like Prahlad Maharaj, he thinks, oh, all of this in this world, all are serving my worshipability, like is my same mood. And in this world, who came in Mahaprabhu's line? Although all in Mahaprabhu's line, there is constitutional form of marriage arrangement with Mr. Pati Radhika, but some exceptional case also there. In some are sukha mood. Think oh, all are serving Krishna in sukha ros, in friendly term. Who is parental mood? Like mother Jasoda and Nanda Baba serving Krishna, always making you laugh. And sometimes Nanda Baba asking Krishna. Oh, can you bring my wooden shoes, please? Krishna became very happy, taking these shoes on his head and smilingly going to Nanda Baba. Who is in this parental mood? He thinks, Oh, all are serving my Prabhu in this parental mood. Who is special in Sringaras? They are thinking, Oh, all in this world, all living entity, serving my worshipability in Sringaras. So Bhagavad Bhava Matma na, although all are not same mood, but is imposing them. Oh, all are like this. Bhutani Bhagavatat Nesa, and in all living entity he saw his Prabhu. Although everybody's possibility is not same, although so many disciple devotees that the disciple of same Guru, but their possibility is not same. Like Naradri si is Guru. And Dhruva Maharaj is his disciple. His worshipability is Narayan. Narad Rishi is Guru. Pralad Maharaj is his disciple. His worshipability is Nishinga Dev. Pral Narad Rishi is Guru. Balmik is disciple. His worshipability is Lord Ram Chandra. Narad Rishi is Guru. Basdev is disciple. His worshipability is Sri Krishna. So, although in same group so many disciple, but all are same mood. So, 
भगवती आत्मन नेशा एंड ही इज सिंग ऑल लिविंग इन इन ऑल लिविंग एंटिटी ही इज सिंग हिज ओन प्रभु ओनली नॉट अदर्स हु लाइक दिस दे आर भागवतत्तम उत्तम भागवत दे आर नॉट लाइक मध्यम कनिष्ठ और मध्यम दे आर उत्तम भागवत सो आफ्टर दैट वी विल लिसन मोर थिंग फोटोग्राफी बक्सल गुरुदेव हरे कृष्ण नो नाउ इज डेफिनेट definitely is defined by silo sukhdev goswami the symptom of madhyam adhikari isare tad dhineshu baliseshu disat sucha prema maitri kripa apeksha ja karoti sa madhyam isare tad he has four symptom isare tad dhineshu isar means god tad adhin means his devotee balis means who is innocent and जुनियम friendship but prominent of marsi is there and friend but senior much more senior to him than with servitor mood but friendship these three types prema moitri kripa who is innocent or ignorant no nothing but very simple hearted he has merciful glance towards him he wants always how to grace them how to make them progress in krishna consciousness and who is against of devotee deity and devotion is very envious towards them neglect them so here prema maitri kripa apreksha prem prem means after rati when rati will come after that prem like hanuman is premi bhakta If prem will come, then how will be madham bhakta? Not possible at all. But is mentioned in the Bhagavatam. Is Bhagavat wrong? Not possible at all. We cannot think about in dream. So how I in Sri Madhav Bhagavatam is told prem or mukti kripa peksha means he is in bhav bhakti now. He is going going to achieve bhav bhakti. So in the symptom of madham uttam, not achieve prem yet. ऐसा ऐसे अच्छी प्रेम दानिल उत्तम भागवत भागवत उत्तम but not achieve not achieve prem yet is going to achieve bhav it is mentioned by shri bisrat chakravarti thakur the commentary of this slok so prema maitri kripa apeksha and when in uttam bhagavat he is traveling in this world he is always absorbed in his mood although he is among with us or previous also he is doing so many activity we think he is like a mortal like ourselves don't think so among being with among us he is doing his own service which is in his constitutional form like special in kali yuga when someone got perfection his soul will be divided in two part two one they will serve chaitanya mahaprabhu being abode of navadip dham when i by other he will serve divine couple being in his the associate of divine couple so is bhagavatam being with us 24 hours a day serving same time simultaneously sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and divine couple but we could not understand this thing when will be qualified enough and his master of his he will best to his mercy then we can understand that, that thing not before that so archaya mai bolchi so here प्रेम मैत्री सो कृपा अपेक्षा तैनल भी प्रेमी भक्त तैनल भागवत उत्तम एंड हो दिस उत्तम भाग ट्रेवल इन दिस वर्ल्ड सिंग सम बडीज मिजरेबल एक्टिविटी और मिजरेबल पोजिशन तैन हि हार्ट बी कैम मेल्ट करुणाया विद्रवन देह तैन ही बेस्ट इज मार्सी लाइक नारद ऋषि बेस्ट इज मार्सी टू नल कुमार मणिक्री एंड सो मेनी सो बींग इन भागवत उत्तम 
In absorbing his mood, he will not bestow his mercy. When he will see our sufferings and realize, then he bestow his mercy. And then he come down in Madhya Madhikar. But he is not losing his position. Being in Uttam Madhikar, because then Konishto Madhikar and Madhya Madhikar already inside him. So being possessed in Madhya Madhikar, then he bestow his mercy. Now after that, is mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam, the symptom of Konishtadhikar. Or chaya meva haraye pujangja swadhaye hate natat bhakte su channe su sabhakta prakita smrita or chaya meva haraye what he is doing? Or chaya meva haraye he is doing archan of hari whenever you take initiation you have to learn two things one is orchard, another cooking. When we join Mott, then Gurudev trained us two things. First, orchard and cooking. Both have to learn. If you not, don't know cook, how to offer? And when you initiated, you have to offer. Without offering, how you can take your food? <laughs> then you have to learn cooking. So two things have to learn first. Then other thing. So orchard meva haraye, pujang yo sattaye hate. And doing puja, but with sadha, not paramarthi sadha has come properly. Puja and sadha yate. Not tat bhakti. Not tat bhakti su He has love for God, sadha for God, but not love or honor for his bhakta or devotee. Or onno. Or onno means other incarnation of God or other Vaishnavas. Then sabhakta prakita smita. He called Prakid Bhakta, not a Prakid Bhakta. So, but when he is in this stage, but he is simple hearted. Krame Krame Teo Bhakta Bhakta Haive Uttam. Gradually by good association, he will learn all tattas and will develop in his Krishna consciousness. Because he is simple hearted, the Madhva Madhika will bestow their mercy to brought him up to in Krishna consciousness. So, who have taken initiation, they have to learn orchan and cooking, then to other service, and gradually, gradually, when our Shraddha will grow up, then we can understand what is our duty, then we can honor his devotee more than God. If we do so, then Bhagavan will be more pleased, then gradually, gradually, we will enter in Madhya Madhikar. Hare Krishna. Bancha Kalbataru Pras Chakipas, Hindu Bhai Vacha, Pritanam Kavani. जय जय राधा रमना हरि बो जय जय राधा रमना हरि बो जय जय राधा रमना
and corporate attachment. He wanted to please prostitute and so a rotten dead body. Dead body. He took like bow and went to her house in the midnight when Rani Rani was ready. And taking a serpent, he climbed on the wall and from there he fell down. Then prostitute told him, why not this love and affection for Krishna? Why for this material body full of what urine, blood and juice? And then he at once he was renounced and began to go to Vrindavan. In the way again he was attached with a lily. And then he took therapy and what he did. And then he began to go to Vrindavan. And then mercifully Krishna came and took him to Vrindavan. There he also built a mangal for conjugal and then told, Oh, I don't want to keep these eyes from one. I have seen you. I want to remember always you. Then Krishna and Radhika mercifully they did like so. And then he began to chant and remember Krishna. What he told the shlokas, it is called Krishna Karnami. It is letter for the year of Krishna. Chaitanya Mahapur collected in his south India too and gave it to all devotees to remember all these shlokas. So, Billa Mangal Prabhu ki my blessings to you all. Go, go Prabhupada.